And the Oscar goes to so many of us will be watching motion picture history being made in Hollywood tomorrow night at the 86th Academy Award ceremony. But did you know there's a lot of Oscar history you can see right here in New York City? Give it up for The Wolf of Wall Street, up for five Oscars this year. It was all this legal. It's director Martin Scorsese's blockbuster epic of yeah. stocks, sex, and mega greed in the financial district. We don't work for you, man. Yeah, my money tape you who's technically you do work for me. It's also cleaning up at the box office worldwide. You know, of course, that Scorsese already has one Academy Award for The Departed, and he has eight other Oscar nominations for Best Director. But you might not know this vintage photograph of Scorsese at the Museum of the Moving Image in Astoria. And how about this display from one of his award-winning films? Museum curator Barbara Miller. Oscar weekend is a perfect time for visitors to come to Museum of the Moving Image to see Oscar-nominated and Oscar-winning work on exhibit right now is a pair of boxing gloves from Raging Bull. Um, some hair pieces and a script supervisor script from Taxi Driver and production design material from The Age of Innocence. What makes the script supervisor script from Taxi Driver so interesting is that De Niro's famous line Talking to me? was actually an ad lib. <laughs> And did you know that much of Scorsese's opulent, Oscar-winning Age of Innocence was filmed at Kaufman Astoria Studios right next door to the museum? That film won an Oscar for costume design and was nominated for the great work um, by Dante Ferretti for um, art direction. Got a little motto. And there are beautiful costumes on the platform um, designed by Colleen Atwood. Um, she won an Oscar for costume design for the film Chicago. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! Artifacts are also on display from the works of many other Academy Award winners, including the late Sidney Lumet. Among them... A script that we have that he used for the filming of Network, um, and it has his cross-outs. Um, he tended to cross dialogue out when he was finished filming a sequence. What have I ever done to make you treat me so disrespectfully? And maybe the most important prop in the making of The Godfather was never seen in the film. Marlon Brando wore a special device inside his mouth when delivering his unforgettable Oscar-winning performance as Vito Corleone for The Godfather. That device is on exhibit in the museum's core exhibition behind the screen. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Isn't that great stuff? The Museum of the Moving Image also features exhibits on many other Oscar-winning films and their makers, such as Moonstruck, All That Jazz, Mrs. Doubtfire, so much more. So be sure to visit the museum with the entire family. We'll be right back.